Hey, Tony here. Today I'm doing an unwrapping of all these Christmas classics on 4K, so stick around. So it's finally November, which means that we can start thinking more about Christmas and the holiday season. And this year we got some really great announcements that there are going to be some um, really great holiday titles released on 4K. So I thought today I would take time to um, show you all of these and show you what it looks like on the inside. So first up we have the Polar Express. Really beautiful looking slipcover. And here's the back. Um, I've seen this one in the... I saw this one in the theater. I haven't watched it since it's been on physical media. Um, I know either people love it or hate it. It's one of those I thought was pretty good. I kind of liked the way that the animation looked. It really looked like a lot of um, computer generated animation. But here is the packaging. Of course the back is the same. It does come with a digital code. And really nothing special on the inside. But I really do like the way that this slipcover looks. And it's nice to have this one on 4K. Now one that I was really excited about is National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. This is definitely one of my favorites. And I really love the artwork that they did on the front of this. I do not believe I had ever seen this artwork before. So I thought that was great. And of course, um, having it on 4K is another great thing. I hope we get more of the National Lampoon vacation movies on 4K. Of course, the same artwork on the case, a digital code, and then just the red disc on the inside. But I do enjoy watching Christmas Vacation every year. It's always been something that, I, that me and my family have done, and we actually saw it in the theater when it was first released. I remember that was a fun experience. Next up we have A Christmas Story. This is another one that we watch every year. I do love the artwork on this slipcover. The slipcover really makes it pop. This is another one that we watch every single year. Um, same information on the case. Um, I'm definitely looking forward to the movie that's coming out. I believe it's going to be on HBO Max. I can't wait to see how that turns out. I've been I've been staying away from the trailers though because I don't want. I don't know. I just don't like watching trailers. Of course, the case is the same. Artwork on the inside. It comes with a code, and we have a green and a red disc, which I, I like that they did that. Christmas colors, but I'm definitely looking forward to, to watching that on HBO Max. Next up is a film that I think is really funny. I enjoy it. It's Elf. I don't typically watch this one every year just because I can only take so much Will Ferrell at a time. And it honestly feels like I had just seen this one not long ago. And it could be because I watched the um, show on, on Netflix of the movies that made us, the Christmas special. And it had how they made Elf, which I really enjoyed watching that. This right here comes with a code. And we do have some really nice looking artwork on the Blu-ray disc and just a red 4K disc. But I do like that slip cover. The slip cover looks really nice. And then we have Holiday Inn. Now this is one that I actually have never seen. I've got many copies of this one in the collection. It is a black and white film. I really need to actually take time this year to watch it. Um, and I'm definitely going to do that. I'll have to watch this one this year because I'm very interested in seeing what this one is about. We have this nice cover art. Inside we have a code. We actually got some disc art for the 4K release, which I like that. And then we have the red disc for the Blu-ray. Um, what I like about this subcover is it is textured. And I don't know if you can tell, it's kind of like, like a glitter texture. So really nice. I, I do like it when they do that. Now these next three titles are some that I grew up watching on TV. Um, we only got to see this once a year. And so I'm um, very happy to have these on 4K. We have Frosty the Snowman. I enjoy this one. I enjoy all the Rankin Bass um, animated titles. They're really a lot of fun. I grew up watching these in the 70s. And... Like I said, these came on once a year. Same artwork on the case. 
And we have our two discs. We did get some artwork on our 4K disc. And then the red disc for the Blu-ray. Frosty the Snowman is a fun one. I enjoy the song. It brings back a lot of childhood memories. Um, next up we have Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, another favorite of mine. These slipcovers are highly embossed, which is nice. Lots of great special features. Um, I do have many copies of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Red Reindeer in the collection. Um, this right here was another favorite of ours, watching every single year. Me and my two brothers. Um, same artwork on the case. On the inside, we do have our digital code. And we have our disc art, same style disc art. So really great having this one. I think our very favorite um, Christmas special that came out from Rankin Bass is Santa Claus is Coming to Town. We always loved this one. It was a lot of fun. Another nice embossed slip cover. But this was definitely one that we loved watching every single year. That was the thing about it. If, if we missed it on TV when it came out, there were no repeats. You did not get to see this again until the following year. So we would really make sure that we were in front of that TV set to watch these specials. Um, of course, the case is the same. It does come with the digital code, and we have our disc art and our red disc. So those are all of the Christmas specials that came out this year on 4K. I'm really excited about it. There is a box set that contains all of these animated titles in it. So if you want to save some money, you can definitely buy the, um, the box set. But I, do want, I did want to get all the individual releases. But please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about these particular 4K releases. Let me know which of these holiday films is your favorite. Because I really do love reading your comments. If you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I really appreciate it if you'd subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Instagram, TikTok, and on Twitter. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.